Is it your parents' fault that you have anxiety and that you struggle to talk to women? Well, I was working with a client the other day and he brought up this question, uh, or better yet, uh, one of the traumas that we were working on together was the fact that he had memories going on in the past that meant where his parents were maybe being a bit too overprotective of him and were telling him constantly not to talk to strangers because of a certain circumstance that had happened when he was young. And he was very adamant that his entire life was their fault with how he was brought up and, um, and why he still had issues going on well into his 30s. Well, I kind of agree with his, uh, his situation, but I also disagreed with his situation. And uh, I'll share with you exactly what I had uh, kind of said to him. And this was why, if anything, I did actually praise him for doing something about it as well. Now, when you're younger, we are incredibly naive and ignorant and innocent. And, you know, we don't know any better. We're still trying to figure out how the world works. And, you know, we believe our way of doing things is always right. And the truth is, we're not. We are um, probably wrong most of the time on, on a lot of things or until you've actually had an experience or two, then you can have a better understanding of it. But for him, uh, he had had uh, a few situations that had essentially scared him uh, into this position of that talking to new people was a really bad thing. And that's good and all when you're young because there are weird people in the world and absolutely you have to be very cautious. But it can start becoming very detrimental when you become a teenager, when you start going to university or college, or definitely if you're going to work, or if you're trying to become part of different communities, or if you've got hobbies or interests or something, you know, you have to learn to be able to talk to people and being afraid or still holding on to that limiting belief that it's a really bad idea to talk to new people um, isn't going to do you any justice. In fact, you, you're going to just develop even worse social anxiety disorders, uh, which could even lead to something like agoraphobia, where you're just scared to leave the house because, you know, you just don't want to be near new people. So I felt for him on that front, but I also said to him, you know, at any point, once you were to break away from your parents, everything then is entirely your responsibility. You can sit and have a moan and a tantrum and and, uh, and just wallow in those limiting beliefs that you've got. But if you're not actively doing something about it, or at least, you know, challenging those beliefs, then how can you expect anything to change? If your belief is that uh, you shouldn't talk to new people, new people are dangerous, um, and it's really bad, uh, you could embarrass yourself, or whatever, then that is all you will ever know. And then you'll also just sort of have other people want to stay away from you because they'll be like, well, I don't want to be near a person who doesn't want to be near me kind of thing. So uh, so I, I said to him, you know, it's great that you are taking responsibility for your actions. You're holding yourself accountable and you are doing something about it. You can't just uh, be thinking that you can just get away with the entirety of your life not talking to new people. You have to talk to new people. If you're going to go to the supermarket and buy something, you have to talk to someone. Or if you're going to go uh, to work, absolutely you have to talk to someone. You can't just avoid it forever. So, um, so I was really compassionate about the fact that he did then come to me for coaching, that part of the reason that he did that was because he had said that enough was enough and that he didn't quite understand how he was struggling and other people weren't. And I think that's just a really good um, sort of indicator for oneself that you have to challenge your beliefs at some point and question that if you're experiencing a lot of hardship, why isn't someone else? So if you are 
constantly thinking that it's your parents' fault for the reason why you've got anxiety and the the reason why maybe you are struggling to talk to women, um, I think that's just absolute rubbish. It was, uh, you were taught things when you were younger, but as you've got older and hopefully you've got more intellectual, you have to consider the idea that yeah, maybe, although my parents maybe had the best intentions for me, it didn't necessarily mean that they knew what was right as I've gotten older. And I've known people as well who, you know, they have strict parents and even in like their uh, 20s and 30s and even 40s as well, their parents haven't changed the slightest. They still have the same attitude towards them. And in a way, they still talk to them like they're teenagers. But as an adult, you do have to remember that now your parents aren't necessarily governing over you, that you have your own uh, way of thinking, you have your own lifestyle, and you have your own way of doing things as well. And the only way that you can really move forward is again, challenging those beliefs and, you know, and moving on from them. Whatever those old memories are that are holding you back, especially any limiting beliefs that you have that are saying like, oh, you can't talk to women because your parents told you not to talk to strangers, um, is absolute rubbish. And if you are holding on to that belief still, you need to lose it. And there are two ways to do it. Uh, one, I will certainly pitch my services for, which is, you know, doing the integral eye movement therapy services, um, being able to have your limiting beliefs detached from whatever emotions you are feeling about old memories that you've got is the thing that's preventing you from moving forward. And at least with my help on that, I can show you and get you to experience what it's like to not be holding on to such uh, uh, ridiculous beliefs and get you to be like, oh, it is okay to talk to women. Oh, wow, actually women like talking to me. They want me to talk to them. That's crazy. And I can assure you, when you can get rid of these old limiting beliefs, you will and you will find relationships and friendships with people start forming because you're not holding yourself back anymore. So having integral eye movement therapy is certainly one way to do things, or at least as a, a stepping stone towards the second thing, which is that you have to be actively challenging your belief, which is why I always try and encourage people. You see it in a lot of my videos. I highly encourage people to go out and practice doing either day game or cold approach with strangers. Get used to the idea of talking to people, desensitize yourself, reduce that anxiety and build your confidence with talking to strangers and let that overwrite your limiting beliefs. It's the same thing if you go to a dating coach or a social coach or whoever, they will help you to talk to strangers and develop your confidence and show you that same thing. You can put all the blame on your parents, but at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to take action and do something different with your life. You are not who you were 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. You are a very different person now. So I've got the hiccups now. Uh, so don't let whatever your parents taught you when, they, when you were young or whatever traumatic experiences that you had that when you were young hold you back from doing the things that you want to do in life. So if you can, please like the video, if this is certainly something that maybe resonated with you or you know it resonates with someone else. Um, I'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you can, do please subscribe to the channel because every subscriber that I get, every comment and like that I get helps my channel to be promoted that little bit more on YouTube. The algorithm picks it up. And I know because I am also a YouTube strategist um, and it just helps me to reach more men to help them with their confidence and certainly to overcome their anxiety. And if you do need my help, check out my services in the description below. But other than that, look forward to my next video.